Hello, welcome back to Legends of the Wind Waker here at the Hidden Triforce. In this episode, we're going to explore Forest Haven, see what all is going on in this new island. There's a lot of stuff to do here, and it's going to be the home of the game's second dungeon. Now, before we can get up that way, we have to work our way inside. It's uh, kind of convoluted to just to get inside of the interior of the island. And to do that, we're going to deal with these new enemies, these Boko Babas. But uh, thankfully, they drop a lot of these Boko Baba pouches, or seeds, or whatever the heck they are, which we'll be needing for uh, later on. So collect them whenever you can. Most of the time, I'm going to say, at least more than half the time, they drop one. So they're pretty easy to get. Um, and you can also use the claw shot to just, or yeah, claw shot to just grab them straight from the guy without having to actually kill them. But I'm going to advise killing them. Now, let's see. We're going to go ahead and uh, swing our way across. Make sure that you line yourself up or you're going to end up in the water. If you end up in water, then the current will take you right back down and you'll be redoing this all from the start. So, definitely don't want to mess up. Anyways, uh, go ahead and use your shield to deflect back at these Octa Rocks. Well, I guess I'm too high for this, so I'm going to miss. Let's just uh, do it in his face, see what's up. And he got facial. Link's first facial of the game, and it won't be his last. So do the same thing for this guy, and then complete this process just by swinging over as well. So now that we have gotten across everything, we can actually enter the Forest Haven. Forest Haven is sort of like the Kokorai Woods of the Wind Waker, and it's actually pretty much exactly that. Um, the Forest Haven is home to the Great Deku Tree, which we last saw in Ocarina of Time, and we, we really haven't seen since. The Oracle Games had like the Mako Tree, but it's not quite the same thing. As you see there, the Great Deku Tree is right there in our face. He's big, he's large, he's kind of creepy looking, actually. Um, but he's also got a big old case of the face herpes, so we need to clear his infection up. He got some red outbreaks going on around his lips, so you don't want to be kissing this guy. But just go ahead and roll into him and that will knock off all of these chews. Um, they're going to swarm you and you just quickly take care of them. A good spin attack like that will kill most of them. And blah 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 blah. Yeah, I don't know what he's saying either. So apparently, Hylian is a language of the old. They no longer speak it. I guess they speak uh, English now or whatever they're allegedly speaking here and we're being given the translation of. But the Great Zaku Tree is the guardian of the Forest Haven, much like he was at the Kokorai Woods. It's actually the same place essentially these Koroks which are little creepy woodland creatures are somehow an evolution of the Kokorai from Ocarina of Time as well which makes absolutely zero sense I don't know which makes less sense the Zora evolving into flying things or the Kokorai humanoid things turning into whatever these are they look like they're pieces of wood with a leaf face they're weird they're creepy and they make absolute zero sense. Maybe the Kokorai are magical. They never possessed any kind of magical powers in Ocarina of Time that was visible. Maybe this is like some alternative form, sort of like Zelda took with Sheik. I'm not sure. Either way, they're weird and I don't like them. Um, foolish Makar. Anyways, we are now being given a task. Before he will help us, we have to help him. People cannot fly through the air. Well, that's true. Do we? So, every one of these guys have kind of adopted some kind of item or something to do what they need to do. The Rito slash Zoras took a scale so they can fly. These guys use leaves so they can fly. I feel like they're really hitting home with the flying theme here. So. What he's going to do is give us this new item, but we have to earn it. And before we do that, we're going to get ourselves something else as well. Um, here, hidden on the forest haven, is a special like uh, firefly. You see them all over the place, all these glowing things. But there's one that shines um, especially bright, which you can see right there in front of us. And if you can capture it, 
then put in your bottle and force firefly. You can take him to, uh, I think his name is Lorenzo on Windfall Island and get yourself an upgraded Picto Box, which is, I guess, useful. Um, you don't really need it. It's not a necessary item, but you can go ahead and get it if you want. Now what we need to do is work our way up to the leaf by using these Dekubaba sprouts, or I'm not really sure what they're called, um, just to kind of like catapult you up and just trying to make sure I'm lined up here. Um, where do I need to go? Alright, go to the treetops that was right in front. I just want to make sure I got that lined up so I don't fall down and end up having to redo it. Now, got one more little stage of these. And you have to kind of like, you're making sure that you get your items worth from the last dungeon. So we're making us use this and then do some more of it. And then some more. Um, Forest Haven is also home to the infamous Nintendo Gallery side quest. It's sort of a side quest, sort of pointless. You don't get anything for completing it. And there's no motivation to do it unless you're just a pure 100% completist but it's just the most irritating and pointless side quest in all the Zelda series um, I'll explain more about that here momentarily but for now we got the Deku Leaf um, and we now have magic power for the first time a variety of items and abilities use magic power and it will um, kind of deplete as you use items so you'll have to re recharge it by finding um, bottles or vials on the ground. But for now, we can float this way. And it kind of depletes fairly quickly. So, whatever. As you can see there, those things fill them up. Anyways, the Nintendo Gallery is over here to the right. Um, we're not going to head over there because I'm not going to do this quest for this left plate or ever. I did it when I first played the Wind Waker, or at least parts of it, and there's just zero point to it. Um, and I'm never going to do it again or even try to. Now there's also a, another thing we can get which if you glide over to it over kind of to the back left and I will get to that uh, kind of way back there on that island and I'm going to get to that actually after I beat this dungeon not before so stay tuned for that but for now we just need to glide our way over there to the to the woods that's all covered in these spikes I don't know what they are tentacles so we need to change the winds direction I need to make sure I got the right way going now this area used to take me forever as a kid I could not glide the right way for whatever reason but first you need to make it go to the southwest which will take you right over here um, there's just head over to the island that the um, I guess tornado or cyclone is kind of huh, revolving around so let's go this way and once we get here there's plenty of grass and plants where we can replenish our magic power and you'll definitely need to do that do not try and leave without it but before we move on we need to change the direction of the wind again to face over there now there's going to be three P hats in our way and these P hats um, goal is to knock you down and make you hate your life and probably kill yourself um, I, They used to give me the hardest time But you also what you need to do is you can't just jump off like you did before you need to use the cyclone Or gale to kind of give you a, an upward boost and wind power um, So timing is very key and it's kind of weird timing. you need to jump before it's in front of you Because you're kind of need to glide to it a little bit. It's not right against the island or output so outlet that is so now that we are up we just need to avoid these p hats and we'll be set spoiler i do avoid them and once we enter that doorway we are inside of the next dungeon which will be the next video so stay tuned for that here on the hidden triforce and don't forget to subscribe like and leave some feedback thanks to everybody i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the forbidden woods in the next episode bye